wasabi you guys of course we have an absolute value integral because it's MIT what do you expect right so first of all that 2018 X is really distracting so every time you see something like this with a function with some constant times an X right just do a u sub let u equal 2018 now it looks like nothing but it's actually mentally significant because it just helps you get away with that distraction of 2018 okay so it just simplifies everything nicer so now you just have 1 over 2018 this is 0 and then you have 2018 squared pi okay and then now it's just sine of u du okay so here so now here we have um, is there a way where I don't have to draw a graph? Because I honestly don't want to draw a graph. But probably, probably not. So it's it is it would just be easy to draw a graph. And here let me let me show you why. So the regular the regular graph of a sine of x would look like this. Right? That looks very awful. Let me draw a better one for you. It's going to look like this. That also sucks. Oh my god. This is this is how you know I don't really graph as much. Because I don't like graphing. Okay. There you go. So this is the graph of sine of x, right? This is from 0. And this is from 2 pi. Okay? Now, what is this? You should know that this point here is at pi. Okay? When you absolute value a function, everything here that's underneath the x-axis will get reflected immediately. Okay? It's going to get reflected. So, what that means is that the graph of the absolute value of sine of x is going to look like it's, it's going to look like this. So what you're doing is you just have a graph of this, of all these bumpy roads, of all these bumps, the hills, and they're all from 0 to pi periodically. And you keep going all the way until 2018 square pi. Okay? So what is my shortcut here? This graph is telling me that this is equal to 1 over 2018 times then however many times this hill is, right? That's the only hard part is just, okay, we know from 0, this is, the finding the area of this, this whole integral is equal to finding the area of this hill from 0 to pi of sine of x, and then multiplying that with so many, how many hills, right? But how many hills, though? 2018, right? This is 1, right? 2 pi here, that's 2 hills, all the way up to 2018 squared. Oh, we have to... So we are literally computing the area of this 2018 squared times. Does that make sense? Oh, just look at that. This cancels out, this cancels out. And then uh, this is negative cosine of x, which will... Uh, Let's, I'll just go ahead and do that. 28, oh, no, I'm sorry. Just 2018, just 2018. Uh, negative cosine of x from 0 to pi. Okay, when you calculate this, you should get uh, 1 plus 1. Yeah, because the negative times negative 1 is just 1. And then also with 0, this gets canceled out. So you get 2018 times 2. And your answer should be 4036. In which I believe that's what the answer key says. Yep, 4036. Okay, so now you know why I hate piecewise functions, uh, piecewise integrals, p uh, absolute value, all that stuff. It's because a lot of absolute value integrals, you do have to graph, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but this one is like, this is just kind of a way of a shortcut to think about it, right? There is no algebra of, oh, let's get to here 
to here. No, this is here to here because of understanding the graph. Okay, we literally integral jumped. This is integral jumping. You just find an equivalent integral that would equal the same thing to this by looking at the graph. Okay, so again, graphing does help. Uh, it's scary sometimes because we don't normally, well, I don't normally graph because it I'm not much of a graphing type of person, but this is this this is how you would speed integrate it, right? Okay, so sine of u, you know, absolute value. Wait a minute, the graph of this is just a, a repetitive graph, and if you notice that this is a repetitive graph, take advantage of that, turn it into a shortcut like this, and then the only difficult that you have to be careful about is just counting how many hills. Try not to miscount it. Okay. And of course, it's just 2018 square hills. The 2018 cancels out with this reciprocal. And then we just get 2018 times this integral. Okay? All right. I hope that helps. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.